In this video, we'll see about the if then and if statement. Now, what does if then and if says is now if we'll check whether the condition is true or not. If the condition condition is true, it will execute the set of statements. If not, it will end the loop itself, right? So when I say if then and if, let us see with the help of example how it is written here. Now I've just written example. Let me try to tell you what exactly it is. I am accepting some number from the user. I want to check whether the number is greater than 20 or not. If the number is greater than 20, display a message to the user. Yes, the number is greater than 20. If not, then end the if condition. So let us see that. For that, what I've done is I've declared a variable dim num1. Okay, dim is a statement to declare a variable. Num1 is the variable name. Num1 equal to input box. I'm asking user to input some data. Okay, some number in that. So input box enter the number. That's the text which will be displayed. Now if num1 is greater than 20, if this condition is true, that is num1 is greater than 20, okay, then what you have to do is you have to execute one statement. The statement is written as message box number is greater than 20, right? If it is not true, if it is false, it will go for end if the condition will be close itself. So let us see that how we can execute. I'll just click on this run button click on run so you observe here it will first give me this input box it will ask me some input that input will be stored into this num1 that's a variable i'll just click on this run button okay if you see it is executing this statement so whatever i input in this input box that will be stored in this num1 i'll input as 24 which is greater than 20 obviously so if this condition is true it will display this message i'll click on okay Okay, so if you observe here, I've got this message box number is greater than 20 number is greater than 20 that has been displayed. So it is working fine. I'll just click on OK. Right, and I've got the result. I'll just close this result. Now, if you observe, it was working fine when the condition was true. What if the condition condition is not true? If I enter a number which is less than 20, I'll just click on this run button. Okay, and I'll click on run. Now I'll try to enter number which is less than 20. Let's say I'll enter five and I'll click on OK. So when I click on OK, if you observe, it will not go inside the loop there inside the condition, but it will directly come outside, right? So I hope you understood how to use a if loop and what are the limitations of this if loop. If you don't have the negative condition or the false condition, it will not display or it will not execute any statement. It will directly come out of the condition loop itself. I hope you have understood and that's all for this video.